Today I want to show you how you bring your PID settings to a maximum. You need this especially with heavy cameras like this FS100 or a FS7, a Canon C300, Blackmagic Ursa, Red Epic or whatever. It took me a while but now with the latest firmware 2.5 it got a lot easier. But let's start with the battery. Here I have my 3S battery, 1, 2, 3. On the 32-bit board from Basecamp Electronics you can use 3 to 6S batteries and you can set the battery power in the software from 0 to 255. So please keep in mind that using a 3S battery and set the power to 250 delivers the same power to the motors as using a 6S battery and set the power to 125. It is even more complicated. The power delivered to the single motors depends on the level of P. In my case I use a 3S battery. I have set all my power values nearly to 250 and my camera is about 3 kilo. My highest P value is 130. If you have a different battery or different power setting or a different camera, you will find different P values for sure. But getting lower or even higher P values is in the end absolutely fine. So for each setup there is a different perfect P value. If you haven't watched it, please watch my video about the basic understanding of PIDs first. But now let's start. At first charge your battery up to 100%. A battery unloaded for example down to 50% will provide totally different PID settings. If you start from the beginning you can set your PIDs to 10, 0 0.01 and 5 for all roll, pitch and jaw. But it is a lot easier to use the auto tuning first. With heavy cameras like this Sony FS100 you won't get usable PIDs by using the auto tuning but you are quite close and you can see if your power settings are completely wrong or quite good. If you get PID settings here around 120 you will be fine. There is enough space up or down. As I pressed auto tuning I got these PIDs. I will set them now for you. This is what I got with auto tuning 111, 203, 128. Now if I touch my gimbal it really works but as you can see there are a lot of vibrations. The pitch for example is quite too high. So if you press auto tuning and you have no vibrations at all you might be finished. But you can always find even higher and better P values. If you have vibrations as I have you have to go on. In both cases set all your eyes from the PIDs to 0.01. Otherwise you cannot check your P values. The next step is to find out where the vibrations are coming from. You can use monitoring if you have low frequency vibrations. As you can see my X axis makes a lot of vibrations now. If you have high frequency vibrations like an electric shaver it might be easier to touch your different parts of the gimbal and feel if you can make it out where the vibrations are coming from. In my case it's easy I have seen it on the monitor and I can feel it that my x-axis makes problems. The p values are much too high. So what to do? The first thing is 
to decrease the p value so i've seen it's 111 128 i will start with 100 on my pitch axis now as you can see i have found a good setting the vibrations stopped it's fine now uh, the jaw axis is vibrating but i will do it later so the x axis is fine now but this doesn't mean that you have found the best ever PID settings for your X-axis. If you want to find them, just stick to the official manual by basecamelectronics.com. There's written that now you should increase the P and D value again. For example, go from 100 to 110 and then you might feel some vibrations on your axis. So if so, please increase the D value also. Increase it proportional. So, for example, from, from 70 to 73 or 75. Now, do this again. Start again. Increase your P value. If you find some vibrations, increase the D value proportional. You will come to a point that you cannot increase the D value any longer. You will get just high frequency vibrations. So, go back to the last stable. P and D value and voila, you have found your best ever settings. Now you can start to speed up the I, the PID. The, the I speeds up the gimbal, but please be very careful with the I settings. It, it, can, it can occur very easily low frequency vibrations. After this, do this with all the other um, axes and I hope you will find the best ever PID settings for your systems. Thank you for watching.